Hey everybody, it's Michael Fisher with Pocket Now. We're at CES 2014 and we've taken a look at the Samsung Galaxy Tab Pro. Now we're going to have a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro. So I can only apologize for the lighting so many times, folks, so we're going to stop trying. Obviously, this is the black variant, but this is also the Note. We had a look at the, the uh, Tab Pro before, and interestingly, the only thing setting this apart from the Tab, it, despite the fact that traditionally these categories have been separated by quite a lot of, um, well, quite a difference in price range and feature set, is the S Pen. It lives in the corner there, and on display, of course, it lives right here. Flip the device over. So the same kind of stuff we talked about in the Tab video. The um, Wi-Fi and 3G version rocks the Exynos. The uh, LTE version is the Snapdragon 800, 8 gigs of RAM, uh, <laughs> 3 gigs of RAM, etc. And of course, we see this interface here, the first major Samsung interface overhaul in quite a while, which is actually quite a pleasure to use on a device this large, which is, of course, 12.2 inches on the diagonal. Pull out the S Pen here. We talked a lot more about the software on the Tab video. As we bring it in here, we can just go ahead and click it there. We see the familiar launch pad made possible by the S Pen. Great times. Let's see what uh, Pen Window does in this new environment because we know we have a new multitasking interface. It's like, all right, so this works about the same as it usually does. Interesting that both of these devices have dialers available. Here's how that works. Let's see if we can do another one here. Can we, can we stack our windows? We've been told you can run as many apps at the same time as you want. Let's just see how true that is. Oh, wow. Yeah, so the, the Samsung has rewritten some of these apps to take advantage of their larger size. Actually, the whole thing, I mean, the, the entire device takes much, much smarter advantage of the screen size, especially with the multitasking. And Samsung has not forgotten the accessories with the new Note Pro. In addition to the usual cases and keyboards and so on, a Bluetooth mouse is available for all your mobile computing needs. Aside from that, folks, the only differences you're seeing, really, I mean, is, is the mass and just a, a very few minor specs. You've still got an 8 megapixel camera on the back, a 2 megapixel shooter up front, and you've still got the stitching here a bit more appropriate in the faux leather on this Note device than on the new tabs. But we're going to have a, a closer look at this one that's a little less noisy, a little uh, better lit. Hopefully, we'll get around to that. Michael Fisher from CES, Tony behind the camera and uh, Taylor editing videos somewhere else. Stay tuned for a lot more from Pocket Now coming very soon.